morning, or I should say good evening really, because it's the evening when you watch these videos. What a cold and shivery morning. Am I alone in thinking Mother Nature has lost her mind completely? Because she decides at a time when we can't afford to put the heating on to drop the temperature to minus four degrees. I cannot recall a Christmas being this cold for a long, long time. And you know, it's okay. For me, I can wrap up warm and put layers on, which I have today. I have my thermals on. I've got, well, I say my thermals. Can you see? It's basically under armour for my body to keep me warm and a big thick woolly jumper. But I really do worry about the old people and how cold these temperatures are. It's really worrying. And Mother Nature has lost her man completely. Or she's just messing with us because she knows we can't afford to put the heating on and stay warm. But does anyone recall a Christmas being this cold? Like, I can't even remember the last time it snowed at Christmas. And yet it's snowing, but it's the frost and the ice. Minus four. I'm like, oh my gosh. On Thursday, when I've got quite a busy day, we have minus six temperatures. I'm like, oh. Just stay in the car. It's warm in the car. But the sad thing is, I noticed yesterday when I came home from Manchester, being in the car is lovely because it's so warm. But the minute I came into this house, it was like I walked into an igloo. It's, I know I said I loved being cold. And I'm trying my hardest to embrace it, but it's freezing. I'm, I'm just moaning for the sake of moaning. What a lovely start to Vlogmas Day 13. It's a little after six in the morning and I've got a nice day planned today. So I'm gonna share little snippets of my day with you. I'm out Christmas shopping with Annette to get the last minute bits that I need. Like, I've got a list in my phone and there are a couple of tricky people to buy for. So that's my intentions today. Before I do that, I'm gonna light my wax melt and my advent calendar but you can't see it because it's down here <laughs> day 13 we are almost two weeks into the advent calendar bizarre isn't it got my wax melt just need a tea light these are four hour tea lights so by the time it's time for me to go out they should have gone out by then and the house will smell all festive and Christmassy. what are you up to today what have you got plans have you got work Christmas shopping, are you busy wrapping presents? Tell me honestly, leave a comment down below. Does it really feel like Christmas? Doesn't feel like Christmas to me. Even though there's snow on the ground and when I look out the window, even though it's dark, the ground is white, but it still doesn't feel like Christmas. Am I alone with that? I'm sure I'm not. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's feeling like far humbug this morning. <laughs> Ollie arrived safely in Paris yesterday and hopefully he has a lovely festive time. In fact, he messaged me last night. How bizarre is this? Let me just put this wax in the bin. So he messaged me last night and he said, have a little look at this picture, mum, and tell me what you see. So he sent me the picture and I said, I can't see any. Nothing jumps out like. I'll include said picture here for you to have a little look and see if you notice <laughs> while I ramble on for five minutes. <laughs> I'm not going to ramble. I'm going to try my hardest not to ramble. I ramble far too much on the edit and it's like, oh my God, Tony, get to the point. <laughs> so in this picture, Ollie's eyes are green and brown, the same as mine. So my left eye is green, is that my left, yeah. My left eye is green and my right eye is brown. I get my green eye from my dad and I get my brown eye, <laughs> brown eye, and I get my brown eye from my mum. And in that photograph, Lee's eyes are green and brown. And he said, we're sat in an Irish bar. And I was just like, oh my God, because all Lee has the most unusual, hazel, sometimes green, sometimes brown, his eyes change with his mood. They're like mood eyes. <laughs> but they're green and brown. I, I was looking at it and I showed it to Lee last night and he said, it's the only time he's ever looked like you. <laughs> I said, whatever, whatever. We have a joke all the time. I go, oh, he looks like me. And he goes, he doesn't. I mean, everybody says that Lee is the model of Big Lee. And I kind of know that he is. But there's still a little bit of me that says, no, he gets his lovely olive skin from my mum because my mum had the same olive skin and the same freckles on her face and I mean if I use that picture as an example 
you can see his little freckles on his face and my mum, oh, are we in focus? And my mum has exactly the same. I'll include a picture of my mum here for you to see what I mean. But he is the ringer of Lee. I'm not going to lie. He really is. <laughs> I think I got a tiny little look in. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Because <laughs> you haven't seen Big Lee. So you can get a good... <laughs> That was wrong. You can get a good example of what he looks like because you've only seen me. So you're going to be like, Tony, he looks like you. He doesn't. He is the model of Big Lee. That's my advent calendar list. And today is home alone. However, I'm not going to be home alone because I've had to change my plans because of the snow and the ice. So I am going Christmas shopping today, but it's still home alone. I will watch the movie tonight and I've got a couple of other recommendations that you gave me too. I'm going to sit and have a listen to some ambient background Christmas music, have a little read of my book which I started last night which was November 9th or November 9 by Colleen Hoover and enjoy the smell of cranberry, ginger, orange, all those lovely smells from the advent wax melt. Everywhere's closed. With that, <laughs> I've just said to Annette, look how empty everywhere is. She went, yeah, because everywhere's closed. <laughs> I think we're a bit too early to beat the rush. Oh my gosh. We're window shopping. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're window shopping, it's fine. <laughs> how quiet is it? Oh, if only it was like this all the time. First stop is Matalan. It's nine o'clock and it's the only shop that's open. So we've just seen the door getting opened and skipped in. <laughs> Ending to get a warm. How nice are they? Five pounds. Very Norwegian style then. Oh, look at them. 30% off. How cute is that? Next up is Poundland. <laughs> Let's go and see what, what they've got. That's Christmassy and it's warm. They look exactly like Venus, Gillette. Races only there one pound fifty. I found the most amazing little bits and bobs for my little gingerbread garden. an hour Primark and it's nice and warm. How nice is that pink? Well, when my camera focuses. That's lovely that, 18 pounds. <laughs> Greg's stuff's still there. Feeling really tired <laughs> after all the walking 
around the town centre. It's amazing how many steps you do, but we're back. I picked up some little goodies from Poundland, which I'm so excited with the items that I purchased for my little gingerbread garden. I also went to Home Bargains on the way home and we nipped into Tesco's and I picked a few bits up in Primark. So I'll get those now that are in the haul of bags and show you exactly what I bought on my little shopping trip in town. Let's start with Primark. I, I spent a whopping £19.50 in Primark and I got some thermal, thermal socks. Two pairs in each packet for £3 each. So we've got two lots of those because they're going to be extra warm in this cold weather that we've got. Item I can't show you but it was £1 and it is a nostalgic gift for Arnie. I've got two boxes of tea lights but they're in the shape of little Christmas trees and they were £1.50 each and I just thought they are lovely. £1.50 each pack you could use them if you're doing a tablescape, which I think I may be using them for. Or you could use them on your gingerbread garden or, you know, just a little decoration. And I also picked these up. I got two sets of two and they were £3. But the little napkin rings with a little tiny acorn, some red cherries and gold berries and then some little holly leaves. I thought they were so cute. So we've got two lots of those. And then finally, I picked up some new face masks. So one morning, I can have a nice aloe vera face mask looking a little bit like the Grinch. If you remember the pumpkin face mask, <laughs> then you know that this is gonna be hysterical. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you watch that video. But they're gonna be lovely to use. And the lead up to Christmas when I'm feeling all like I want to be green and grinchy. <laughs> the next things I got were from Poundland. And in Poundland, that's my Tesco receipt. I didn't want to buy another carrier bag, so I just popped them in there. In Poundland, I spent £30. <laughs> I spent £30 in Poundland, but I got some amazing bits. First off, some little dog biscuits because... We're running a little bit low and Home Bargains haven't had the little mini marquees. So we've got two boxes of those. I got a bar of dairy milk, some pens for work, some chicken sticks, a can of deodorant, two bottles of shower gel, two rolls of fragile tape, some little Licky Licks, they did not have dog ones, so I had to get the cat ones, but I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same. So I got those for Peg. Poo bags, this is the best bit. Oh, I'm so excited with these. So I got a little fiber optic Christmas tree, but like the bottle brush style trees. So I got one of those. And then I got two packs of little bottle brush trees, which I'm really excited about. I got a little, they're like little stone ornaments, but it's a Christmas tree, a post box and a little Santa boot, which I thought was so cute. Some cinnamon rolls, some little snow filled animals, polar bears. Oh, so we've got like little polar bears in the packet, but I just thought that was lovely. They're going to add to my little scene perfectly. I got two packs of those because I wanted two boots. There's only one boot in the pack. So I've got two little Christmas trees, two boots and two pillow boxes. Then I got these. These are just the cutest. I got that little snowman for the gingerbread garden. I got oh, this little gonk. How cute is he? Oh, I can't wait to create this. And then I got Mr. and Mrs. Am I in focus? I got Mr. and Mrs. Gingerbread. <laughs> Are they not the cutest little ornaments ever? I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait 
to finish the Christmas garden and then I've got a little gonk on a sleigh and he'll be parked just at the side of the house. That was everything from Primark. Then I nipped into Tesco's, so I got a nice big tub of Philadelphia for Christmas cake and a two pack of Just Roll puff pastry sheets for two pound. That was a bargain. And then last thing from Tesco's was Annette and I have already chipped into them, but these, oh my gosh, they are chocolate orange crumble topped mince pies with Valencian, with Valencian, with Valencian orange oil. They are something else. You honestly need to try these. They're, they're quite chocolatey and it's almost like the pastry on the bottom is like a biscuit pastry and not like your average pastry on a mince pie. The chocolatey, they've got little chocolate drizzles on the top. The mince meat is amazing and you can taste the orange oil in them. Honestly, with a cup of tea, we washed that down a treat and it was so nice. Highly, highly recommend the Tesco's finest buttery and lavish chocolate orange crumble topped mince pies. Then we nipped into Home Bargains and I have a little haul to share with you from Home Bargains. I picked up some ribbon for my wax melt box set just to try it. Some cheese and onion Pringles. A hard pick toilet cleaner. I've got to put these away for Christmas. They're part of a Christmas present. Some baked crisps. Two rolls of foil. A new pack of icing sugar because I noticed my icing sugar in the cupboard's gone a little bit clumpy, crunchy. I got some white tack for the gingerbread garden. Some reason chocolate some snowy Cabri's fingers because the Christmassy. These look delicious. Little reindeer cakes. <laughs> I got a, ooh, a packet of crusty rolls, a Vicks vapor inhalator, is it? Inhaler, an inhaler. <laughs> Snacks <and. laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Two packs of dime bars, which won't last five minutes. Another packet of that silver ribbon. And I bought this for Annette for Christmas. It's a Think Positive, Be Positive Slim and Diary. So you can track everything in this book. I have something very similar, which is what I've been using to keep my weight loss journey documented. All the details every week, so I thought I'll get one of them for Annette and that's what I for it and she will love that. And that was everything that I got from Home Bargains. That was everything that I purchased, apart from some gifts that I purchased for Ellie, Ollie's girlfriend. So I'm not going to share them because I know Ellie watches my videos <laughs> and I don't want her to see what I've bought her for Christmas. So I'm not going to share that. I'm going to keep that. And yeah, that's everything that I got in my little shopping trip. It was lovely. Town was so Christmassy and quiet. I absolutely loved that we, we weren't there in the thick of the rush. And I know that's part of the atmosphere for Christmas. But when you just want to get stuff done and get a little bit organised and you're a little bit tight for time, it's so much better to go really early in the morning the way we did. Annette picked me up at around 10 past 8 this morning and we got into town at around quarter to nine and it was perfect. Highly, I can't recommend it enough. If you want to go shopping and miss all of the hustle and bustle of shopping, leave early. It's the best thing ever. I'm going to go and put all of this stuff away. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed Vlogmas Day 13. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. It means the world to me. And I will be here again tomorrow with some more hopefully festive content and maybe wrapping some presents, maybe going around looking at all the Christmas lights. But whatever it is, it will be nice and Christmassy. So I'll see you all tomorrow.